Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. I would like to give you an update on my homemade pig feeder that I have now combined with a waterer as well and just show you how it's going and give you some feedback. Plus three degrees, it's about four, five, six degrees warmer in Celsius than outside. I can tell you already what these pigs are waiting for. These pigs are waiting for me to come and start a hole for them that they can continue to dig. That's how it has been lately that these guys, they don't do anything by themselves at first. But when I come and start digging a little hole, they go crazy. They love it. So let's go and do that before we talk about the feeder. I had one of the scariest moments uh, on the homestead just some days ago that I want to share with you guys real quick and what happened was that um, I was wanting to move these little ones to my big pigs and I put, I took one and carried it over and put it in and my heritage pigs um, almost killed it. They, at least that's what I thought, they were biting it and were furious, furiously attacking it. It was bleeding afterwards. Um, I I was to totally in shock. Um, my adrenaline kicked in. I tried with all my strength to get these huge pigs away from the little one. And the only thing that helped towards the end was me yelling as loud as I could at the pigs and they stopped biting on it. I thought they would just bite off the neck but um, I was able to carry the pig back in here and it was doing much better than I thought. I thought it, I had lost it. I thought they had just killed it. But I decided to keep them in here for right now. And I gave them, I gave them a lot of love the next days. I, um, I've been working with them and trying to get them to warm up to me more. I've been digging a lot of holes for them, like you saw on the video, where they were able to play. And they're a real wild bunch. They're starting to like the greenhouse here. Um, yesterday, I emptied out all the old hay from the nesting boxes and put it here, and they had a blast. 
um, playing with it and digging through it and they actually built themselves a little nest here where they slept. So here it is, my homemade feeder. You see that I put these lids on here and I made some hinges out of an old uh, belt for, um, I think this was even for our baler. Yeah, the pigs can just lift it up and eat and it drops down and closes it so the chickens can't get to it. Um, this barrel holds a lot of feed. Um, just put a lid on here right now and you see they have um, emptied a good amount of it already. And then I didn't have a good way to, f to give water to them. So what I did is I put this uh, water here that was from our cows that we used in the stable before the cows went on the debedding and outside like they are now. And um, I just put that there with a hose, a uh, standard garden hose, connected to this bucket, just drilled a hole in it and uh, put something that I found somewhere in here. And this is gravity fed water and both the chickens and the pigs are drinking from that. And um, it's easy for me to keep that clean, just get the dirt out there with a brush. And it works great. I put this here so the pigs, it wouldn't be as easy for them to pull on the hose and all of that. I had my concerns there, but they haven't played with that. I guess as long as they are busy enough, they won't destroy too many other things. They might do that though at some point, but for right now it works great actually. So they have two sides where they can eat. Interestingly enough, they just fight on the same side all the time. Um, I guess they find that interesting. So now you see they lay down again. Did a little bit of digging and now it's time to lay in the sun that is just starting to peek through the clouds and gonna warm up this greenhouse quite a bit here. But yeah, this giant tin can, like somebody said, is my pig feeder. It works great. I have moved it several times. As soon as I move it, they will start to dig underneath it for some reason that I don't know. And um, yeah, if you have a production model that allows your pigs to have free access of food for a while, this is a perfect feeder and um, combined water as well. So as you saw just now, sometimes the pigs run around wildly, but it doesn't affect the chickens in the way that they lay less eggs. I've observed that that has stayed the same, but um, they they get along very easily. I hope you enjoyed this update on the pigs in the greenhouse and the pig feeder and waterer. If you want to see how I built this, check out this video right here. It's really a fun project right now in the winter time, preparing all this compost with the chickens and the pigs. I will bring more of my chickens in here, the ones that I hatched earlier this year, and there will be more manure and more digging in here. And these are thousands of liters of compost here that will all go out in the garden. So thank you for watching. Tune in next time. Make sure to subscribe to not miss a video. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye.